I played better in, in the big stages against the best players. I, I think I've always been that way. And Whoa, Naomi Osaka has no chill. While Coco Goff, too, is confident in her abilities, she's a little more laid back. Everything that I do on the court is a plus to my life. I have everything that I need, and this is just all extra. That doesn't mean, though, that she's lazy on the court. Nope, definitely not. So what happens when Naomi and Coco face off? But first, who are these people? First, let's talk about Naomi. The Japanese tennis player became the first player from Japan to win a Grand Slam singles title after her victory at the 2018 US Open. After winning at the 2019 Australian Open, Osaka became the first woman to claim consecutive Grand Slam singles titles since Williams accomplished the feat in 2015. In 2020, she won the US Open title for a second time. The following year, she added to her collection of Grand Slam trophies at the Australian Open. With that, she has become the 16th woman of the Open era, since 1968, to have won four Grand Slam singles championships. Long story short, Naomi has been collecting accolades since she bypassed junior competition to turn professional in 2013. She has been growing as an athlete and perfecting her craft since then. But in January 2023, she announced that she was pregnant and would not compete that year. She returned to tennis this year, in January, when she competed at the Australian Open. Unlike most of her peers, the Japanese tennis player's dreams were not simply about the glory of winning big matches or titles. Do not be mistaken, though. She does dream of making her way to the top of the sport. However, her primary goal was to earn enough money to change her family's circumstances. And she did. As a matter of fact, according to Forbes, Naomi is the fifth highest paid female athlete in 2023, with a net worth of $15 million as of December 21st, 2023. Coco Gaff, on the other hand, was the third 2023 highest paid female athlete, with a net worth of $21.7 million. Unlike Naomi, Corey Dion Coco Gaff hailed from a family of accomplished collegiate athletes. Her father played basketball for Georgia State University, while her mother was a track athlete for Florida State University. As early as 10 years old, her talent for tennis became apparent. She rose to prominence in the sport by beating Venus Williams, one of her childhood idols, at the Wimbledon Championships when Gaff was just 15 years old. Then, at 19, Gaff became only the third American teenager to win the national women's title after she won the U.S. Open women's title in 2023. And now let's hear from our champion, Coco Golf. No, I don't pray for results. I just ask that, you know, I get the strength to give it my all and whatever happens, happens. I'm so blessed in this life. So I'm just thankful for this moment. Like, I don't have any words for it, to be honest. Those who know Coco know how well-grounded she is. Well, thank you first to my parents. Uh, Today was the first time I've ever seen my dad cry. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want me to tell you all that, but he got caught in 4K. Simply put, both Naomi and Coco had a taste of success early on in their careers. Perhaps it is because of this, or their shared love for the sport, that the two were able to nurture a good relationship. In fact, even when Coco lost to the then-defending champion Naomi Osaka in straight sets at the 2019 US Open, she was still comforted by the latter. An emotional gaffe, only 15 at the time, was reduced to tears afterward on court, but was comforted by Osaka as a sold-out crowd applauded. The pair exchanged words at the net, which turned into a joint on-court interview with ESPN commentator Mary Jo Fernandez. Naomi Osaka, and just said, can we do the interview together? It was an act of grace and humility from a champion, and a reminder of all that's good in sport. Coco, this crowd absolutely loves you. You will probably agree that Naomi clapping for Coco and cheering her up is heartwarming. Coco herself expressed her gratitude for the kind gesture, saying, Thank you, Naomi. I don't want people to think that I'm trying to take this moment away from her because she really deserves it, so thank you. 
When I shook her hand, I saw that she was kind of tearing up a little, Osaka said at the time. Then, it reminded me how young she was. I was just thinking it would be nice for her to address the people that came and watched her play. They were cheering for her. Like the fact that both of us made it, um, and we're both still working as hard as we can, I think it's incredible. And I think you guys are amazing. I think Coco, you're amazing. Four years later, Coco earned her first Grand Slam title. At first, she didn't even realize Naomi was amongst the spectators. We have a two-time U.S. Open champion, two of the last five years, sitting in the front row of the president's box, Naomi Osaka. You guys shared such a lovely moment on this court a few years ago. What she didn't have to be asked twice about what she wanted to tell Naomi. Uh, I mean, thanks for coming. I mean, Naomi, uh, I remember the moment we had on this court, I don't even remember, like three years ago, and it meant a lot to me, and I'm so excited to have you back on tour and hopefully, you know, I get to meet your daughter. I don't know. Um, so thank you so much for coming, and hi to your mom, too, as well. Now, the question is, will the world see the two of them competing against each other again? Well, let's see. Coco Goff had been ready to make a strong statement after she failed to capitalize on her semifinal appearance at the Australian Open 2024 held in January. So, in March, the American teenage sensation aimed for her first ever Indian Wells title. Like Gaff, Osaka is also motivated enough to get back to winning big matches and tournaments after a disappointing comeback so far in the 2024 season. To those who don't know, Osaka's Grand Slam comeback ended in a first round loss to Caroline Garcia in a tight encounter at the Rod Laver Arena in mid-January. The competitiveness in me is really frustrating, and I'm not winning these matches, of course," Naomi said in a post-match news conference. By February, the four-time Grand Slam champion brushed past Croatia's Petra Martic. Osaka grasped control with a break in the fourth game of the opening set. Note that it is the first WTA tournament in almost two years at which Osaka has won back-to-back -back matches. The following month, she enjoyed a new milestone in her comeback from maternity leave, upsetting Russia's Lyudmila Samsonova. This allowed her to reach the third round of the BNP Paribas Open for the first time since 2019 and score her first top 20 win since 2022. While Naomi had the biggest comeback in general, Coco also made an impressive one, overcoming a 5-2 third set deficit against unseated Frenchwoman Clara Burrell. The 20-year-old American emerged with a hard-fought victory. The scoreboard was 2-6, 6-3, and finally, the mentioned third set finished 7-6, sending her to the third round at the Indian Wells. Both Gaff and Osaka, however, were beaten by Caroline Garcia at the 2024 Miami Open. Garcia defeated the four-time Grand Slam winner Naomi Osaka on Sunday, and then Coco on Monday, after only three sets. Then, during the late May French Open, the two produced different results. Naomi was defeated by Iga Swiatek, who pulled off a remarkable comeback victory. The Polish professional tennis player survived a match point as she overcame Naomi in a thrilling second round match at the French Open. While she admitted she was disappointed about the loss to Swiatek, she said she was overall happy with her performance and the state of her game. I cried when I got off the court, but then, I kind of realized I was watching Iga win this tournament last year, and I was pregnant," she admitted. It was just my dream to be able to play her. When I kind of think of it like that, I think I'm doing pretty well. Coco, on the other hand, won her first Grand Slam doubles title at the French Open. With that, is a Grand Slam champion in singles and doubles, something she did not expect to happen so soon. She won her first major doubles title by teaming with Katerina Sinyakova for the French Open Trophy. They defeated Italians Jasmine Paolini and Sarah Irani, giving Gaff her second major after winning the US Open singles last year. But wait, there's more. After reaching the French Open semifinals, Gaff moved up in the WTA rankings. The 20-year-old American star is now number two in the world. Despite the losses, both Naomi and Coco still have reason to celebrate. Despite their lack of success on the clay courts of Rome, the two US Open champions secured their spots in one of the most prestigious events of the year. Both Naomi Osaka and Coco Gaff were nominated for BET's Sportswoman of the Year Award. 
Will either of them compete in Paris? That we'll have to see. For now, watch this to see which athletes dream of competing in the French capital.